in the mix. SKM presents Strictly for the Music Podcast. You are now live with the number one podcast for all upcoming artists worldwide. It's the real. The real deal. Welcome back to another episode of Strictly for the Music Podcast. I'm your host, SKN. The next guest I got live in direct. He's the co-founder of Loud Pack Mob. He's a trap rapper, songwriter, over 17,000 followers on BandLab, 30 bands, 21 collections, three albums, Freestyle Frenzy 1 and 2, Time for Soul. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Team Dabs. Thanks for having me. Glad to be a part of this. Hell yeah, man. I appreciate you taking the time, man. It's an honor to have you. Man, you're one of the greats on band lab so you know we got to pay homage because man without you and leading everyone the right way dog we'd be lost little puppies homie you know okay. so uh let me ask you this dog how long you been rapping for man and what age did you start rapping at yeah i started i started at like 14 hell yeah man so uh um, you're the co-founder of Loud Pack Mob, man. How does it feel to have a team that strong that supports you, man? Man, it's great to have a team that's strong. Like, I love all of them. They're, they're all dope. They're all dope ass rappers, you know, and beat makers. You know, we got singers, all that. <clears throat> Hell yeah, big dog. So, uh, man, um... Like I said, we're going to plug in all your social media, everything you've got going on, your YouTube channel. We'll all put it in the description for everyone to do it and check you out and follow your music, man, all right? All right. All right, big dog. So uh, let's start from the beginning, man. Uh, what inspired you to do music, man? Well, there was a, this rapper I really enjoy idea, but then I had family that early in the music too. So seeing my brothers and stuff just like make music and make beats and stuff like that. It's always cool. Cool to watch and I just grew up saying to myself, I'm gonna do that one day. And here I am. Dope, dope. All right man. So how'd you come up with the name Team Dabs? Man just I just love dabbing. Like Shit, that wax is, is great. That's what I figured, dog. <laughs> well, hey, I don't really know what I mean. <laughs> I, like, I didn't want to say man. But, hey, that's a dope name, dog. Shit, hell yeah. Thank you, man. <clears throat> it's been a while to get, like, a name that I actually, like, like, and I was planning on keeping. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, man. So, uh... So, uh, what are the pros and cons of band lab? And would you recommend it? The pros, I guess, would be like you could record anywhere, you know what I mean? Like on your phone. Like, and it actually sounds all right sometimes, depending on your headphones, I guess. <laughs> and the, the cons, I mean, everybody in their drama. The hate rate. <laughs> and the sex box, huh? The sex box all the yeah, time, huh? Dude. Oh my goodness. That shit is ridiculous. I mean people be clicking on that shit, dog. They be getting hacked and shit. I'm like, fuck that shit. I'm like, report no. Uh, I just delete all my messages every time. Hell yeah, man. So uh, so you got a big following, man. How many times have you hit top trending? Shit. I haven't even been on there. Oh, you haven't been on there? Crazy? Crazy? No. Damn, they don't like me. <laughs> Damn. Damn, they play favorites or what? Yeah. Because it's always the same people, you know. Yeah, so uh. So what are you trying to accomplish on Band Lab, big dog? You just trying to get heard? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. That's that's what it all comes down to. 
let me ask you this, man. What would be the best advice you could give to any any upcoming artist, man, whether he's from LA or Florida? Man, just I would just say like they true to themselves. That, that's pretty much just stay true to yourself. <laughs> Uh, you don't listen to the haters, you know? Yeah, exactly. I don't worry about none of that. Just be you. Stay in your own lane and stay in your own business. <laughs> right. So, hell yeah, man. Um, all right, big dog. Um, let me ask you this. Uh, what, 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 uh, what year was uh, Freestyle Frenzy released? This year. Oh, it was released this year? Yeah, I, I released both of them this year. Damn. How'd that make you feel, man? You know, it made me feel pretty, like, good. Like, that, I, that I'm not, like, your average driver because not too many. I'm about, I dropped both of them within, like, a, a two- or three-day time frame. <laughs> Hell yeah, big dog. Hell yeah. So uh Time for a Soul, man. That's one of your uh one of your albums that came out right after Freestyle Frenzy too, right? Yeah, it was it was pretty much just like a beat tape. I have a couple like of set singles and collabs on there, but like three or four. But it's mostly beats. Oh yeah, big dog. So you got any future collabs in the work right now? Um, yeah, I got a couple with Stellar. Yeah, yeah she shouted you out on the last uh, interview I did with her, man. She gave me a big shout out. You and Hennessy Beats and TY2 Lit. They all gave you love on the show, big dog. So I just wanted to know that. Oh, yeah, those are, that's my team right there. Hell yeah, dog. <clears throat> so, uh, 21 collections, man. Can you break them all down? Did you say that again? Your 21 collections on BandLab? Oh, okay. Break them all down. Well, it's, it was just like, like one's, a, I got one uh, for just beats, and then I got a couple where they are like a, an open verses. You know, it all depends what you're trying to, what, I, what I'm feeling at the time. Right now I have this, uh, oh yeah, I have one uh, best like girl rappers, and then I got a, like a best to grow sing singers and shit. <laughs> I got all kind of little, little collections, you know. Dope. It's just whatever I think is sounds good. Hell yeah! Because if you're dope, you get in there. So how many producers got you got on on uh, Loud Pack, man? Oh man, I got a bunch of them. There's a lot of them. You got uh, I see Hennessy. I did an interview with him last last night. Oh, yeah, he's he's a cool, dude. Hell yeah, man! man. That, that man's an animal on the beats. That man's an animal. Yeah, I like his beats. So he, he's got a good sound, and he sounds different. You don't sound like the rest. You know what I mean? Right, right. All right, big dog. Um, we already talked about. Your albums, man. You got any? Uh, you said you got a YouTube channel with some music videos. Yeah, I got a couple on there. They they all produced by you too, right? Yeah, I showed them all myself. Hell yeah, man. So how did you come up with the concept, and how did you come up with the uh scenes on on, on the uh captures of the uh video shoot? It, really, in the video, it's just me getting lit. So it was just like. I was dabbing here or smoking a blunt here. <laughs> so, you know, just wherever I was getting lit at. Hell yeah, big dog. What's your favorite strain, man? Oh, man. Oh, it's going to be probably for wax, Slimer. That Hell is yeah. The, the best strain. What company comes with that? 
I think I know uh, Queen of Hearts about that. Hell yeah, big dog. So, so. You ever heard of gelato? Yeah. How is that? How how is that in Cali, man? I mean, I don't really fuck with it that much, but my, my homies like it. Hell yeah, you guys got a lot of dispensaries out there, huh? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Dispensaries everywhere. <laughs> so why you is that is that why is that how you came up with the name Loud Pat? No, I, I came up with it when I was so way younger. And it was yeah. like Chin Dad always had that loud pack. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. So uh what 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 mainstream artists would you want to collab with, big dog? You know it's crazy? All like like my, the mainstream the rappers I like that are mainstream end up dying for like the level of like Mac Miller. That'd have been the that'd have been dope as fuck to collab with him, but I see who right now. Damn, that might be hard. <laughs> Top three. Shit. Oh, uh, Denzel Curry will be tight. Yeah. Um, what's that dude's name? Dave East. That'd be tight too. And Wiz. Wiz Khalifa. And Currency. Yep, those two. That's what's up, that's what's up. So is there any uh California artists out there that inspired you that uh, you listen to the music on the regular? Not really. There's not, not too many. Like, like, I used to listen to, like, like, old Corrupt. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. But like on the regular, I, nah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put Cali back on the map. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody sounds the same. Yep, yep. So how do you feel about uh, Band Lab, all the contests and all the, uh, all the opportunities that they're giving out, man? I feel like. I feel like the rigs or the two favorites. But, Hell yeah, man. A lot of people <laughs> and a lot of like that. I ain't gonna lie. I got robbed twice. Three times actually now. Three times. But it is, like it doesn't even matter, you know. But, so uh you a verified artist on Band Lab, ain't you? I should be, but not uh Nice. That's crazy, man. And you put over a thousand songs on Band Lab? At least. At least. It's crazy. I drop at least, I drop at least three to five a week. Hell yeah. Let me ask you this, man. How many plays does Loud Pack Mob have? Yeah. Well, we're in, we're at uh like thirty K or something like that. That's Damn, thirty k, dog. Yeah, you know it would have been higher if I had to delete the old band. Cause some bullshit happened, so I had to start up again. But so I made this one like six months ago. Already thirty k. That crazy. Damn, six months ago, bro, and you already man thirty k, man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. You ever thought about switching your uh all your songs to uh? Well, you already said you got your songs on uh, Spotify, right? But is that, is that including all th all the whole thousand of them? Nah, that's just like the ones that, that are like the best quality. Hell yeah, big dog. So, uh, what? Hey, what? What advice would you give to any upcoming artist, man, that's coming up in the industry? Oh man, just stay away from the hate. You know what I'm saying? Just stay focused. Do your thing. Don't give up even on people who want to like downplay your shit. Keep grinding. Hell yeah. Hey, so you want to answer these uh, quick questions you got from your supporters, man? 
Yeah, I'll answer. All right, Vanilla Gates asked, what artists inspired you? <laughs> it's um idea. I used to have Rocky. Shit. Wu Tang and even even and more. All right, he asked this, uh Vanilla Gates, what do you want to accomplish? I mean, I just, I just want to be heard, and maybe my music will, like, you know, will touch someone's life. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, Hennessy beats, Hennessy beat. How large was a bush you hid in to hide from the one time? <laughs> it's pretty tall, you know. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hide in a, in a nice spot. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Shout out to both of them artists of Band Lab, Vanilla Gate, Hennessy Beast. Big shout out, man. So, uh, 2020, man. What are the goals, man? Oh, man. Uh, we got an album coming out. It's going to be some shit that's never been done. So the whole uh the whole Loud Pack mob is gonna have one album on it. Yeah. Is it gonna be on Spotify? It's gonna be in all those places, you know, Spotify, iTunes, all that. When can we expect this? I'm not I'm not really sure because it's it's gonna be a big project, so it's like I'm not really exactly sure. Hopefully, like around December, maybe. Hopefully. But it's not, yeah. you know, probably, probably like January, February, around there. Hell yeah. So can we expect any merchandise, big dog? Like any beanies, face masks, shirts, you know? Yeah, in, in the future, that, that's coming. That's coming. Me and, me and my co-CEO, you know, we've talked about it. My, my girl, you know, Queen Dads. <laughs> Hell yeah, big dog. So you got any special shout outs you wanna give? Yeah, just all my squad, you know. You know, all of them. Everybody that I that fuck with me, you know, you know I fuck with you. So So how is your music gonna evolve from here, man? Shit. I'm just on to like trying trying different things, I guess. At this point I know I'm unsure, but like, you know. I'm pretty versatile, so it's like, where do you go from here? But I'm down to try like pretty much any any style as long as it sounds good. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, dope, big dog, dope. So, uh, you got any final words you want to say to your supporters and all the people that are listening right now? Um, and, and thanks you all for just fucking with me and. Uh, now you got to know King Devs. This is me all day, no fake shit. Hell yeah, big dog. Appreciate you coming on the podcast, man. It was an honor having you on here. I hope uh, everything works out for you this year, man, and much success, big dog. Hell yeah, same to you, man. Hell yeah, man. This is Strictly for the Music Podcast, and we're gone.